who identifies as a woman should they have the same rights and the same access uh, to uh, women's spaces. Yes, of course, a trans woman like a black woman or a, right, a Jewish woman or a disabled woman should not be discriminated against. So a trans woman is a woman in your view, even if they have male genitalia, for example. Well, it's not just my view, it's the law. Is it? Is that the law? Is it the law that a trans woman who is obviously physically actually a man is really a woman? Well, yes, it is. That's the legal situation currently. Now, the Scottish government's proposed updating the Gender Recognition Act to make it easier to change sex under the law. And people have objected to it and said, no, this makes no sense. A woman is an adult human female. Trans women are not really women. But these people have missed the point. This argument should have taken place years ago when the concept of a Gender Recognition Act was first introduced. So those people who are objecting to the SNP's proposed change, it sounds like what they really should be objecting to is the original form of Gender Recognition Act, the form that we've still got with us today. And we agree that that is the problem. So we're against any form of Gender Recognition Act, including the current one. So the Scottish Family Party's policy is that we would remove that. There should be no provision under the law for changing sex or gender. Now, we quite understand that some people experience problems in this area. We have every sympathy for them. They need support. But we don't think society moves forward by celebrating what's basically a mental health problem and by affirming beliefs that are just not true.